Next test I'm going to show you is what we call a VBI or VBA, which means it's a vertebral basilar insufficiency or vertebral basilar artery test. Um, one of the test names is known as declines. So basically the test is for the vertebral artery as it penetrates through the transverse foramenae. And then as it comes up towards the upper cervical complex, it will then leave C1 and then penetrate in through the foramen magnum into the basilla artery, okay? And obviously the left and right will conjoin together in the central system in the brain. So before we manipulate the cervical spine, it's imper imper imperative that we would perform this test. We do this test with the patient's eyes open, and I'm slowly going to extend, and then I'm slowly going to side bend and then induce full rotation. And then we would hold this position for at least 20, 25 seconds. And we would look for any flickering of the eye, known as nystagma, the patient feeling very strange. They would lift their right hand if they felt any undue symptoms from this position. Once I've done one side, I would then extend, side bend and rotate. And then I'd be looking at any altered symptoms on this side. So if there's a positive sign, and then naturally any type of cervical manipulation should be avoided.